हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द कन्वर्शन ऑफ राइबोन्यूक्लियोटाइड टू डीऑक्सी राइबोन्यूक्लियोटाइड सो हियर राइबोन्यूक्लियोसाइड डाइफॉस्फाइड डाइफॉस्फेट राइबोन्यूक्लियोसाइड डाइफॉस्फेट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ राइबोन्यूक्लियोटाइड रिडक्टिस इट गेट्स कन्वर्टेड टू डीऑक्सी राइबोन्यूक्लियोसाइड डाइफॉस्फेट एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस टाइरिडॉक्सिन सॉरी टायोरिडॉक्सिन व्हिच इज अ रिड्यूस्ड फॉर्म गेट्स कन्वर्टेड टू ऑक्सीडाइज्ड टायोरिडॉक्सिन it gets converted to oxidized thioredoxin and this oxidized thioredoxin is converted to reduced thioredoxin and during this process nadph plus h plus gets converted to nadp plus so if you see the enzymes ribonucleoside diphosphate in the presence of the enzyme ribonucleotide a reductase it gets converted to deoxy ribonucleoside diphosphate and during this process thioredoxin which is reduced form gets converted to thioredoxin which is oxidized form this thioredoxin oxidized form in the presence of the enzyme thioredoxin reductase it gets converted to thioredoxin which is reduced form right now uh does, let us now learn about the next topic which is catabolism of purines so if you see the catabolism of purines okay so in the purines mainly adenine and guanine and are the purines right adenine and guanine are the purines adenine catabolism and guanine catabolism both these occurs in liver and gi mucosa okay adenine metabolism exclusively occurs in heart skeletal muscle also along with liver and gi mucosa whereas guanine metabolism occurs in uh, kidney spleen sorry spleen uh, and pancreas okay pancreas so here guanine metabolism along with gi mucosa and liver even it occurs in kidney uh pancreas uh, spleen okay now what is the pathway pathway if you see adenosine monophosphate in the presence of adenosine monophosphate diaminase it forms adenosine monophosphate and uh, adenosine monophosphate in the presence of nucleotides it forms guanosine adenosine monophosphate it gets converted to adenosine again in the presence of nucleotides adenosine in the presence of adenosine di deaminase it forms adenosine this adenosine forms hypoxanthin okay ribose 1 phosphate is released during this process now this hypoxanthin now it gets converted to xanthin okay and then finally this xanthin in the presence of xanthin oxidase it forms uric acid then if you see guanine monophosphate in the presence of nucleotides it forms guanosine this guanosine will in the presence of purine nucleoside phosphorylase uh, inorganic phosphate is added and ribose 1 phosphate is released even here inorganic phosphate is added and this gives guanine this guanine in the presence of guanase it forms xanthin okay xanthin gets converted to uric acid so if we incorporate the enzymes in between adenosine monophosphate in the presence of adenosine monophosphate deaminase it gets converted to adenosine monophosphate and during this process h2o gets converted to nh4 then uh, uh, now adenosine monophosphate to adenosine adenosine monophosphate to adenosine and gmp 
that is guanosine monophosphate to guanosine all these occurs in the presence of the enzyme nucleotidase okay next adenosine in the presence of adenosine deaminase it forms inosine now during this process water gets converted to nh4 next this inosine gets converted to hypoxanthin and guanosine gets converted to guanine both these occurs in the presence of the enzyme purine nucleoside phosphorylase both these occurs in the presence of the enzyme purine nucleoside phosphorylase now hypoxanthin gets converted to xanthin in the presence of xanthine oxidase and even xanthine gets converted to uric acid in the presence of xanthine oxidase guanine gets converted to xanthin in the presence of guanase so these are the different enzymes in the catabolism of um, purines now if you see the deficiency of enzymes and their issues if you see this adenosine di uh, deaminase deficiency results in severe combined immunodeficiency syndrome so in this adenosine deaminase enzyme is deficient and as a result this adenosine will accumulate as adenosine cannot be converted to inosine so you will see the accumulation of adenosine here so if adenosine gets accumulated this adenosine gets converted to DATP which will decrease the synthesis of B and T cells and thus causes immunodeficiency then there is one more deficiency which is this xanthine oxidase deficiency whenever there is xanthine oxidase deficiency you will see increased hypoxanthine crystals on xanthine levels gets increased because through guanine xanthine is produced hypoxanthine cannot be converted to xanthine so overall there will be increased hypoxanthine and xanthine levels if there is xanthine oxidase deficiency and as a result this xanthine and hypoxanthine crystals are seen in urine and you will see decreased amounts of uric acid so this occurs in xanthine oxidase deficiency thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you Thank you and thank you for watching.